You hear two views on dating today. Either it's the dating apocalypse or it's the golden age of dating. So the question is, which is it? Hi everyone, it's Patty from Executive Search Dating, Vancouver's number one personalized matchmaking service. Today's topic is three lies Vancouver singles need to stop believing. You know, the key to successful dating and to finding your special someone is to separate the dating facts from the dating lies. So here's three dating lies that will stop you from having dating success. Dating lie number one is that a profile is a person. Actually, no it isn't. To see what really makes someone tick, you need to meet them in person. It's the only way to know if you really click with them in the real world. Turn off your smartphone and focus on getting to know the real person behind the profile. Dating lie number two is what's on the outside matters more than what's on the inside. In fact, the opposite is true. Yes, looks matter. Who are we kidding? But ultimately, it's what's on the inside that creates lasting chemistry and attraction with someone. Change your dating default setting from I'll only see them again if the first date is incredible to I'll see them a second or third time unless the first date is terrible. That doesn't mean that every frog will turn into a prince or a princess, but you'll likely end up with a more fulfilling dating life and some awesome new friends too. Dating line number three is that what's important for me today will always be important for me. Take it from a matchmaker. This isn't always true for two reasons. First, as you move through life, you change and your criteria change too. For example, you may have been a party animal in your 20s, so meeting someone who liked to go out all the time was important. But in your 30s, 40s and beyond, that may be less important than say someone who has a good job and is more relationship minded. And even more important, meeting someone who you really connect with can actually change your perspective on important matters. For example, maybe having a family or kids wasn't a priority for you until you met a fabulous man or woman who you could see raising a family together with. The only thing constant in life is change. Embrace it and you'll have the winds of life and love at your back and not the other way around. There you have it. I hope you found that useful. Hope you're having a great day and we'll look forward to talking to you again soon. Take care.